Namaskar, welcome to Government e-Marketplace. In this module, we will talk about how to extend the delivery period, which is the time given to deliver products. Let's get started. Now, let's move on to the next part where we will see an overview of what we will learn about delivery period extension. In this module, you will learn the following things. First, we will look at the key features of delivery period extension. Then, we'll understand the process of applying for a delivery period extension by the buyer. After that, we'll cover how to request a performance come extension notice and how to request a delivery period refixation. Next, let's dive into the key features of delivery period extension to understand how it works. Delivery period extension is applicable for both direct purchase and bid product orders. For bunch orders, direct purchase or bid orders, delivery period of each item can be amended separately and independently. For bid order with staggered delivery schedule, delivery period amendment is allowed. For cancelled orders, buyers will not be able to raise the amendment request. Delivery period can be amended any day by the buyer even after expiry of delivery period. Sellers are not able to generate the invoice once the delivery period is expired, they can initiate the request for delivery period extension in order to generate the invoice. Now, let's see how to start using GEM by logging into the website. To begin, open the website gem.gov.in and click on Login. This will take you to the login page where you can enter your details. After logging in, click here to go to the dashboard. Now, let's look at the notifications section to stay updated. On the screen, you'll find the notifications section. It shows important updates. You can click on all contracts to go to orders details screen. Let's explore the orders details screen to see more about your orders. This is the orders details screen. Here, you can see all the details about your orders. Click on the bid number to proceed. Let's see the order summary to see how to cancel an order. If needed, you can cancel the order by clicking request for cancellation. This opens a list of reasons like non-delivery or incorrect selection. Choose your reason and proceed. We are going to learn how to handle purchase amendments on GEM. Here, you will get both the options, performance come extension, and delivery period refixation for orders accepted by sellers. Now, let's take a look at how this process works in more detail. Here, we have some important guidelines to understand. First, let's talk about performance come extension allows buyers to request an extension while considering the seller's performance capabilities. Buyers can issue an amendment letter to request the extension. Buyers can raise multiple requests against a single order. Buyers can consider liquidated damages (LD) charges. Next, we have delivery period refixation, refixes the original delivery period for an open or uninvoiced quantity. Buyers can raise multiple requests for delivery period refixation against a single order. Buyers can issue an amendment letter. There is no liquidated damages liability for delivery period refixation. Just remember, the maximum delivery days, including any amendments, should not go beyond 180 days. Choose the preferred amendment type by clicking on Request tab. Now, let's see how to update the delivery date. Click on Update Delivery Date option to select the new delivery date. Once you're happy with the change, click Modify to save it. Once the amendment request is created, you can view the details by clicking on View. Finally, let's finalize the amendment. Cancel amendment if you change your mind. Click on Generate Amendment Document to proceed. Please note that once generated, an amendment letter will be issued. For performance come extension notice and delivery period refixation, the buyer issues the letter and the seller doesn't need to accept it right away. However, the seller can indicate if they accept or not and you'll be notified. Next is the amendment notice. Scroll down to see all the details. 
Let's see the amendment notice. This page shows a notice for a contract change. To proceed, click on the accept and save button. This step confirms the amendment. After saving the amendment, order summary page will come. Here, select the relevant option to verify. Now, let's move to the next step where we verify the amendment. This is the order summary with verification options. To verify the amendment, you can use an OTP sent to your email. Here, an OTP has been sent successfully. Enter the OTP and click Verify OTP to continue. Once verified, let's see what happens next. This slide shows the order summary after verification. You'll see a successfully verified message at the top. This confirms your action is complete and you can now manage the order further. Next, let's learn how to download the amendment letter. You can download the amendment letter by clicking on Amendment Document here. Next, is about purchase amendment details. After the delivery period ends, you can request changes. You have two options, delivery period refixation without liquidated damages charges, which changes the delivery date without penalties, or performance come extension notice with liquidated damages charges, which extends the time with possible fees. Click Request next to your choice. Now, let's look at the general rules for cancellations. General cancellation rules apply to amended orders, but cancellation isn't allowed after an invoice is generated. You can select a reason like non-delivery or mutual agreement. Select cancellation reason. To request cancellation, click here for cancellation of order. Finally, let's wrap up with the conclusion. Delivery period extension is applicable for both direct purchase and bid product orders, including staggered delivery bid orders. Buyers cannot request amendments for cancelled orders. Buyers have the flexibility to amend the delivery period at any time, even after the original delivery period has expired. Sellers cannot generate invoices once the delivery period has expired. They must request a delivery period extension to enable invoice generation in such cases. Thank you.